Hey gang and welcome to your very first Webpack with TypeScript tutorial. Now, just really quickly before we start the tutorial, for those of you who want to support the channel and join the gang officially, you can do it by clicking that join button right here. It's just 99 cents or pence per month, and you get these cool little ninja loyalty badges next to your name in the comments down below when you leave a comment. You can also join by clicking the button right beneath the video if you're watching one now, which I'm guessing you are, it does exactly the same thing. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's get on with the tutorial. All right then gang, so in this series, I'm gonna show you how to set up a decent development workflow from scratch using Webpack and TypeScript. And we're not gonna use any kind of framework or library like Vue or React either, just plain old Webpack and TypeScript. So we're gonna see how to use Webpack to compile TypeScript into JavaScript. We're also gonna see how to bundle all of our source code into a single JavaScript output file ready for deployment. We're gonna learn how to use a Webpack development server to preview all of our work in a browser on the fly as we're creating our project. And finally, we're also gonna learn about modules and source maps too. Now, I'm not assuming you know anything at all about Webpack. You can be a complete beginner, but I am assuming you already know at least the basics of TypeScript before starting this course. Now, if you wanna learn TypeScript first, which I strongly suggest that you do, definitely check out my TypeScript tutorial series right here on this YouTube channel. The link is gonna be right down below. So, first things first, what is Webpack? Well, basically, Webpack is a bundling tool and it's there to help us with our development workflow. Now, that basically means that it can be used to bundle up all of our source files and code into a web-optimized output folder ready for distribution. Now, it can be used for many, many different types of projects whereby code is somehow compiled or bundled before being deployed, such as, for example, a React project where we write JSX templates, and that JSX needs to be compiled into regular JavaScript before it's being served to the browser. Or maybe we have JavaScript code which is split up into different modules and all of that needs to be compiled into a single output file before being served to the browser as well. Or for even things like SAS, which needs to be compiled into regular CSS before it's loaded in the browser. So Webpack can be used for many different things inside our projects. Now, in this series, we'll mainly be using Webpack to compile our TypeScript code into JavaScript, but I'm also gonna show you how we can implement modules, which are then gonna be packaged up into a single optimized JavaScript bundle file ready for deployment. And I'll also show you how to use the Webpack live development server to preview your work as you code. So that by the end of this series, you should be able to put together a good workflow for any TypeScript projects that you might work on in the future with Webpack. So like I said, my friends, you'll already need to know the basics of TypeScript before you start this course and also have TypeScript installed on your computer as well. Now to do that, all you need to do is run this command in a terminal, npm install hyphen g to install it globally, TypeScript. Now to do this, you'll also need node installed because we're using the node package manager. Now, if all of this is news to you and you don't know how to do any of that, definitely check out my TypeScript tutorial series right here on YouTube. First of all, the link is gonna be right down below. You're also gonna need a good text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, which is really nice, and it comes with TypeScript support out of the box, but you can choose whichever one you prefer. And then finally, I've created course files for every single lesson in this playlist. They're right here on the Webpack and TypeScript repo. This link is gonna be right down below. Now, every lesson has its own branch right here and its own code, so if you wanna see the code for lesson four, for example, just select the lesson four branch and it's all going to be right here. So then there we go my friends. In the next video we're going to start by installing and setting up Webpack. 